In this problem we want to get the user to enter seven numbers and then calculate the average of those seven numbers. So the first obvious thing that we should realize is that something needs to be done seven times. So it should be immediately clear that you need the for loop that you see on the screen. For x is assigned to 1 up to 7. So the next question we can ask ourselves is what needs to be done seven times? So we want the average at the end, so clearly we need to have the sum of the seven numbers. So what needs to happen seven times is you ask the user for a number, the user gives the number, and then you add that number to a variable called sum. And this way you build up the sum as you continue. In the body of the loop, we use two variables, a number and sum. So before we go into the loop, we need to declare them. So we declare number and sum as integers. And then we also need to initialize the value of sum. Sum is often referred to as an accumulative variable. So every time you, you sum changes inside the body of the loop, the new value is dependent on its previous value. So if you do not initialize sum to zero, the first time that number is added to sum, some could have some uh, very strange value. So we need to make sure that it starts off on the value 0. And that's called initializing the variable. There are a few things to note when you calculate the average of the seven numbers. First of all, never calculate average inside the loop. That will Im imply that after each number you calculate the average. And if, if you think about it, you don't do that as a human if someone gives you numbers. You would first add them all up and then at the end divide by 7. The second thing is it's habit just to say sum divide by 7. But you'll remember that now you're saying int divide by int and an average is very seldom a whole number so you would lose your decimal points. So always remember to say divided by 7.0 for example which makes that a double and the answer will then be a double. And then obviously you also need to display the average and notice we're formatting to two decimal places. I'm now changing the problem slightly and I'm saying calculate reading seven numbers but then only calculate the average of the odd numbers that you read in. So notice inside the for loop after you've read a number you first need to check whether it's odd. And the way to check whether something is odd is you say number remainder 2. And if there's a remainder of 1, it is obviously an odd number. So only for the odd numbers do you add number to sum. The even numbers will simply be ignored. Because we're only calculating the average of the odd numbers, you should realize that it would not make sense to say average is sum divided by 7. So somehow we need to count how many odd numbers are received during the reading in the 7. So we need to introduce a, a third variable called count. Notice at the top count is initialized to 0 because again it's an accumulative variable. Every time you add 1 to count it depends on count's previous value. So whenever an odd number is read in you not only add number to sum but you also add 1 to count. That way you're counting the odd numbers. Notice at the bottom you can't just say sum divided by count because then you have the old problem of int divided by int and the way to get past that is you say sum divided by count times 1.0. So count times 1.0 still has the same value but it is now seen as a double. Quickly look at what I've now done I've, when calculating the average. I haven't put brackets around count times 1.0. Notice what happens now. It first says sum divided by count. And because those are both integers, at that stage you will already lose the decimals. So it will not help to times 1.0 after the division. Therefore it's important to put the count times 1.0 in brackets. The way you've done this is done now, the decimals will be lost in the sum divided by count. We have one last complexity to, to consider, and that is what happens if the user gives you seven even numbers. 
then by the time you reach the end of the for loop count will be zero and therefore you can't just simply say average is sum divided by count because you're not allowed to divide to divide by zero in programming so we need an additional if statement that says only do the calculation for average if count is greater than zero otherwise average is simply zero